All right, today's video, I think I repaired this 12 volt eBay cooler. It was pretty simple actually. I made a video about it, two previous videos about it. The first one, it kind of worked. The second one, it totally failed and I figured out why. See, it's on right now. The fan simply just got detached. That's it, so I'm going to glue this. Turn this off real quick. I'm going to glue this back on. See, all right, I'm just gonna glue it back on and give it another shot indoors. I tested it in my van. I, I think it was too much to overcome indoors. It just simply failed. I think it was just a fan detaching. So I'll give it another shot indoors and see how it does. Okay, I super glued the fan back on. Just let it run for a while so it doesn't seize up, so the super glue doesn't seize up into the little gears. So make sure this dries up properly and the little fan never falls off again. And I'll go ahead and give this thing a shot indoors, see how it does indoors. One more chance for the portable electronic 7.5 liter cooling and warming refrigerators. Did two videos on this. The first one, it did not do well in my van. Second one, it failed. So what I did was I opened it up. I think I'll upload that in the first clip. So yeah, you already have seen it by the time you're watching this part of the video, but took the front off. It's just four screws and discovered that the fan was just just detached. So I have a feeling the fan was never on there properly and that's why this thing didn't do well at all. So giving it one more chance. It's hooked up to my van solar right now. So turn this on. Okay, it's in the cold setting. Before it gets cold, it is 93 degrees in my van and in here it is 95 makes sense I just you know it was sitting in my van this is the coldest part right here the front gets the coldest it's already 86 so it's working quick already so it's already working better so let's let's give this guy another chance I'm gonna I'm gonna let this run for about an hour hopefully it doesn't start a fire I'm just gonna stay home because I don't want to run errands with this running. I don't trust it. Trust has been broken between me and this refrigerators here. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's look at the box. I like the box. I like these freaking boxes from China. Look at this couple. I don't see. Where's the refrigerators at? They're not even using it. This guy's not using it. I don't see it in this picture either. It's in none of the pictures. It's on the speedboat, though. I like how this thing says uh, to use it in your yacht. That's the best part. Where is it? There it is. Storage of drinks and food for journey. Picnic, camping, yacht, and at home or in the office. I'm not in a yacht. I'm in a van. All right, let's give this an hour. Okay, here's the time. 10.48, so I will return at 11.48. Power consumption of this is, I believe, 38 watts. That's what the eBay seller site said. See the blinking light on my solar panel right there? That means I have a full charge, and it still has a full charge with this thing running. My solar panel is 100 watts, so I'm not, I'm not using any of my battery right now because I'm just running this right off my solar. All right, let's give it an hour. Actually, let's check it real quick. Let's we'll see if it's uh, starting to cool. I think it is. I mean, I instantly checked it on the cold side of this thing. Let's see. There, I'm checking the cold side. There you go, 68 already. So it's working already. I don't even think I need to give it an hour. Well, this, there you go. There's a warm side. This thing's weird, man. So it's a uh, 86 on the warm side. So it only gets cold up front. 
Maybe it'll get cold on this side in an hour. And the van is 95 right now. Doors closed. All right. I will return in one hour. Okay, time 11.44. It is 90 degrees in here. And this has not caught on fire, which I'm happy about. I was a little worried about that. But you can hear the fan still running. Let's see how this eBay cooler is doing. Okay. The back is 72.5. Front, which is the cold side, like I said, is 53. How about the sides? 70. So yeah, it's cold. It's coldest up front, then it gets warmer as it goes back. Put some stuff in here. Put that in there. Alright, that fits pretty nicely. Let's get a reading. This is this is straight out of the fridge here. 42, 43, 42. Same. 45. 46, 47, why is this one a lot colder, that's weird, there you go, in the 40s, so what else, do let's put this Lunchable in there, Another one. Seventy. Price hit one more. Fifty six, sixty six. Okay, sixty eight. Same thing. I'm going to come back. What time is it? It is 11.46. Come back in an hour. That's realistic, right? I mean, if you buy this, you're going to use it in your car. And it's probably going to be air conditioned in your car while you use this. Unless you're a van dweller, RV traveler, road trip or something. And, that, and, that, and that's why I'm using it in this hot-ass van. Less than ideal conditions. I'm guessing in ideal conditions this will be a lot more effective. But let's, let's try it. One hour. Let's see how this does after an hour. Alright, close it up. Come back in an hour. Hopefully it's still working. I think I fixed it. I was looking at the uh, reviews of this thing. Like on random websites. These are everywhere. These are everywhere online on eBay. There's like thousands and thousands of them for sale and thousands of people buying them. And there's a lot of complaints that it's not warming or uh, cooling and it's uh, you know just getting warm and, or it just never worked to begin with. Probably want to crack it open, see if the fans even attach. Probably no quality control like you know, in the factories, they just probably make thousands, maybe millions of these things. Okay, time, 118. So it's been more than an hour. 91.3 degrees in here. Still running. Fan still working. Let's see how this did. This is the third chance this thing's getting. Paid like $25, something like that. Under 30 if I could remember correctly. There's thousands for sale of these on freaking eBay and various online vendors so let's go ahead and get a reading back of the little cooler here cooled down decently actually 61 degrees for the back of this cooler this can 65.6 the other one About the same, 66, 67, 68, you know, one more chance here, 68, 
So this got this got warmer. Wasn't it like high 40s when I put them in? Let's see how the Lunchables did. Let's see if these did all right. This Lunchable here is 63.2. This one is 69.2, 68.9, and this one is 66.2. So they say it stayed about the same. This one actually got colder, because probably because it's on the colder side of the cooler here. This is the coldest part, the front, 50 degrees. That's that's good. 91 degree van. I mean, here, here's an illustration. See how freaking hot it is in here? I'm fucking sweating already. I've been sitting in here for like two minutes. I gotta say, I gotta. The first review of this thing, second review, it was a fail, but it's not bad. If you could find one for 25, I'll put a link if I could remember where. Which Stellar I got this from. Was it 25 I think I used some of my eBay bucks to get this. But if you really want one, um, yeah, if you're driving, you're on a road trip, your car's gonna, your, your air conditioner's gonna be on. It's not gonna be this hot. If you're stopped, like right now how I'm just sitting here, it, it still does pretty well in 90 degrees. I don't know if it'll do, how well it'll do in 100 or so. But uh, th this thing would probably work really well. Like if you're at a job where people steal your food and you're at a desk, get this for your desk. Let me try to find the link where I got this thing. It, it, it works. It's pretty good. I'll keep it in my van now. And there you go. My solar's still blinking, so it's running right off the solar panel. So it's all right. Buyer beware. You might have to crack it open. Make sure the fan's spinning. Make sure everything's working. But as you can see, it's not bad. Just took a tweak, a little tweak to get it to run right. Didn't start a fire, so it's all right. So there's your review on the portable electronic 7.5 liter cooling and warming refrigerators. I already did the warming part in my other review and the warming part works a lot, a lot better than the cooling part in that video, but the cooling part right now is working all right. Not too shabby. I wouldn't put milk in there, or ice cream, obviously, it's not a freezer, but uh, something like this, yeah, it still feels cold, I don't know, it feels alright, I shouldn't get sick eating this, alright everyone, and, yeah, and this probably kept it, helped keep it kind of cool, I guess you could put an ice pack in there, but it's going to take up a lot of room, as you can see, could probably fit five you could fit three lunchables in there and two drinks or maybe five lunchables i don't know or four drinks and one lunchable maybe you could fit it no you could fit maybe fit an extra one like that yeah i guess you could put an ice pack in there it's up to you man do you if you have 25 dollars to burn and you really want one of these go for it yeah it's freaking hot in here look at that <laughs> all right i'm out of here everyone kick ass be safe and take it easy.